26, 2014, and there's some major news that has come out of the CBC. Guillaume Gilmeshi has been fired from the CBC and is reportedly suing for $50 million. Guillaume is a nationally known personality on CBC television and CBC radio. Before his departure from CBC, he was host of the Daily Arts program Q on CBC Radio 1. Guillaume's last episode of Q was three days ago on October the 23rd, before he took a leave of absence to deal with personal matters. His opening presentation was about the shooting that took place that day on Parliament Hill. I always liked listening to Guillaume. I used to listen to Q on my way to work and always found him to be a pleasant broadcaster. There are very few Canadian radio personalities who have the broadcasting skills to become memorable enough that they achieve household name status. Guillaume, though, after almost eight years of hosting Q and nearly 14 years with the CBC, was able to achieve such status in many households across the country. So why is Guillaume being fired? At the time this video was made, there is little information available on this. Guillaume, though, did release a statement on his Facebook page giving the reason as to why he perceives he was fired. Guillaume explains that he had a relationship with a young woman which went sour. During their relationship, Guillaume explains that they participated in sexual acts that might deviate from what is considered normal, or whatever normal sexual acts might be. He talks about bondage and role-playing and gives some other details, but what's most important is that he is clear that all sexual activity was consensual. He then gives details about how when their relationship ended, this woman soon began a smear campaign against him in various ways. As of the time this video was made, to my knowledge, Guillaume has not been charged with any sex crime. Regardless, Guillaume believes he has been fired from the CBC due to his relationship with this young woman and due to his private sex life. In Guillaume's Facebook statement, he says, I have been fired from the CBC because of the risk of my private life being made public as a result of a campaign of false allegations pursued by a jilted ex-girlfriend and a freelance writer. I have been open with the CBC about this since these categorically untrue allegations ramped up. I have never believed it was anybody's business what I do in my private affairs, but I wanted my bosses to be aware that this attempt to smear me was out there. CBC has been part of the team of friends and lawyers assembled to deal with this for months. On Thursday, I voluntarily showed evidence that everything I have done has been consensual. I did this in good faith and because I know, as I have always known, that I have nothing to hide. This is when CBC decided to fire me. So now Guillaume is suing the CBC for 50 million for breach of confidence and bad faith. I'm sure more details on this story will develop over the next few days. At this point though, with the facts that are available, I have to feel sorry for Guillaume. Having not been charged with any crime, he has lost his job and his reputation is being smeared. I do hope the allegations are not true, and until somebody is proven guilty of a crime, Canadians are supposed to presume innocence. So on that note, I also hope Guillaume is wrong and that the CBC did not fire him on the basis of just rumors and hearsay. I'm sure we'll find out the truth in the coming days as more details emerge.